To configure SD card edge recording, it's recommended to first create a dedicated video profile in the camera by clicking the Add button. You can type in a name such as SD Record. You can then choose your codec, we would recommend H.265. Then check the box for profile type, edge recording profile. You can then select your resolution and frame rate. Then scroll down and click apply. You'll see that the record type is now set for that profile. Next, it's important to check the time and date of the camera so that your playback is listed correctly. To check your time and date configuration, you may want to set up with an NTP server. Then in the event menu, go to storage. And you'll set the SD card from off to on. When you insert the SD card into the camera, you'll want to do it with the camera turned off or recording turned off. Then at the bottom of the page, you can set your continuous recording type to full frame or iframe or off. Iframe is that every few second snapshot. You can then set your event recording type. That will be your full frame or none. The event would be any of your analytics, including motion detection. And then your pre-event and post-event duration. The record file type will typically be set to STW. That way it's in a manufacturer's proprietary file format. Then click apply and save. If you change the file type, it will want to reformat the SD card. You also have a recording schedule for the continuous recording if you choose to do that type of recording. You'll see it'll take a moment to display the recording status. If you have a very large SD card, it may take a few minutes to show you the status. And if it's a brand new card, it will format it for you. Again, very large SD cards may take many minutes to format. You also have an option to overwrite the SD card when it's full. Of course, you typically want that, as well as auto delete if you want to delete the SD card data after a certain number of days. That's typically used in Europe for GDPR. And then you'll see the recording status changes to recording. You can set the file system if you need, and you can put in an encryption password if you want to make sure that if someone removes the SD card, they cannot play back your video. You would simply enter in a complex password here. It will then reformat the SD card. Once that's saved, there will then be an option to change the password if you ever need to. The last step to do is if you want to record on events like motion or analytics, is to go to the analytics menu, select the analytic that you want, and you're going to configure the analytic just like normal. In this case here, we're going to make sure motion detection is enabled. We will make sure there's at least one area. We'll check the level of detection, the sensitivity, minimum duration. And then we simply need to check the box that says record and check it so it says enable. Then hit apply to save and we're good to go. And then we can go to the playback section of the web page to verify the recording. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.